Hey guys, I wanted to uh, just kind of give you a little bit more uh, context and information on me and kind of like what I like to do, why I do what I do on this channel, and um, like why I draw Sonic the way that I draw him, and things like that. And I'll probably do more of these if you guys actually care to watch them. Um, and if so, just let me know. So yeah, um, this is my Sonic the Hedgehog. You really want to know why I draw them this way? Um, it's because that's just what happens when I put the pen down on the tablet screen. I really can't tell you where I got the influence from. I can't tell you like I'm, I'm not like following some kind of guide or OK, I can just kind of give you like this is what the design looks like or anything. This is just kind of like what happens when I draw. him. I think the issue is I just don't draw him like the way everybody's used to seeing him because I just just kind of don't like the, uh, the, the, the Sonic that we're like used to. I mean, I like modern Sonic, but I kind of like him more like the way I, I draw him. I put the blue arms and kind of more like a human uh, anatomy or whatever, right? This is for no specific reason whatsoever. I just think it's cool. It allows me to be able to like do dance moves, move him around, move his body a certain kind of way. It's really fun. I had a hard time doing it with like the, um, like with the normal like tan arm version of like modern Sonic or classic Sonic or whatever. I know it's like really squishy and I know we like all like the squishy version. But it just doesn't work for me. I'm sure other people do it really well, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I just, this is just what it is. Okay, so why do I do the dance videos, right? I do these dance videos because one, it actually challenges me as an animator to try to do movements that I think are not typically done when I see animation. So it kind of really just pushes me to my limit to figure out like how to do stuff that I don't even know how to do because I do not know how to dance. So dancing is really challenging. And I think it's probably the most like advanced form of movement. So yeah, it's really hard for me, at least. Um, there's some other animators that are really good at doing it, but uh, I'm still learning. So yeah, that's that. Two, um, I do it because I feel like it's something that Sonic would do. If he had like a vlog, YouTube channel, a TikTok or something like that, he would basically be doing what everybody else is doing. Anytime you have an individual that is like, hey, this is the new challenge, let's get on it right away. I'm trying to get my views in the first 24 hours. I think he would have definitely been trying to be an influencer or something like that. I don't think he would have been trying to do anything niche, probably doing pranks, <laughs> things like that. I think that's a big part of kind of like what I get from Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, like as a well-rounded individual, like that's the kind of individual he is. I figured you'd realize that it's not worth challenging the pride of a Saiyan. Very uh, immature in a lot of ways, but cool at the same time. But then again, I could be wrong. A lot of people probably feel like he'd be on here giving back, uh, which he probably would do that too. I mean, he does everything to everybody. You know, it, 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 it's just my opinion. Hey guys, OG here. If you like the content, remember to like, share, and comment on the post, please. And if you like the music, the artist's name is Thorn and the song is Alive. All right, I'm out.